Corbin Bible, Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 25, Reputation. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 25.9 Only reputation remains your inseparable supporter, which will not depart except by your own decree. Once departed, it is gone forever, and it flees quickly from he who treats it lightly. Therefore, guard your reputation as constantly as you do your daughter. NPR 25.19 Be of good standing with God and man, but above all, seek not to establish earthly merit alone. A moral code does have a cost. Many would see little value in maintaining it, yet it is costlier to rebuild it than to maintain it. Only when you have need of it will you see how costly it is to recreate I disagree that it's gone forever. You might never gain the level you had, but I think you can learn and grow. It will, however, not be easy having lost so much. You do want it back, and you are unlikely to regain what you had before unless you are willing to act like those that befriended you and disappeared when you had nothing else to offer. You had a lot. Now you have one last choice to make. Will you seek to regain what you valued before, or accept less by living under a moral code that demands you only take what you need and hope it leads to you regaining some of what you had through the hard work you found useless before. I try and argue over this ideal of women as a thing, as a possession, and I guess it depends on how you look at it. You should value your children and your spouse equally. This implies to me a possession the phrase that was used. Not a person, so I cringe. I want to challenge the notion that just because a book has wisdom, it can have verses that are flawed. Mostly because I've seen too many use this as justification to hurt others, not just women. Anyone that does not fall in a narrow view of acceptable behavior.